60% of the world's oceans are more than a mile deep. It really is no wonder that only 3% of the deep sea and 1% of the ocean floor have actually been explored. In fact, more people have been to space than have been to the deepest part of our oceans. That really does make sense, because this kind of exploration is not easy. The deeper an explorer goes, the more pressure there is and less light. One great example of this are the sperm whales. They breathe the same air that we do, but when they hunt, they have to dive more than 3,000 feet deep. The pressure shrinks their lungs to 1% of the original size, and they can hold their breath for over an hour still. Sperm whales do hunt at a depth considered the twilight zone, which starts at about 650 feet down. It gets its name from the lack of light, which makes it to this level. 90% of all fish in the ocean actually live here. Many of these animals have huge eyes that catch the little bit of light that actually comes through. Some animals in this zone never touch anything but water. In the twilight zone, we start to see bioluminescent sea creatures. In other words, some animals there can glow. This light is often blue or green, and it carries messages to other fish. This glow can help a fish find a mate, lure prey, find their own way, or even confuse predators. One example is the hatchet fish. They have cells that can adjust to the color of light that comes from above called photophores. This makes them harder to spot from below. Deep sea shrimp are another example. When pursued, they can release a bioluminescent glue that not only confuses their predator, but marks them out for bigger fish. Bioluminescence is also used by fish in dark or midnight zones. We have all heard about anglerfish that live where light does not shine. They entice their prey with bioluminescent bacteria. They live in zones that are more than 4,000 feet below the surface, called the abyssal zone, or the hadal zone, which is more than 6,000 feet down. The hadal zone mostly refers to the trenches that cover the ocean floor. This includes the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest part of the ocean and is deeper than Mount Everest is tall. This is the environment that inspired this deep sea mermaid we are meeting today. If a mermaid did exist, it would be here. She would be bioluminescent blue or green or maybe red because many animals at these depths cannot see red because that color doesn't penetrate this deep. This mermaid here is the last kind of animal that we actually see at these depths though, translucent. There's a lot we don't know about her. Does she filter the nutrients out of the rich water around her? Or does she live on the debris falling from higher zones of the ocean, which is called marine snow? Maybe she must stay close to the hydrothermal vents so that she can use chemosynthesis from the sulfur compounds emitted there? That's not likely though that's really only useful to much smaller animals. My guess is that she hunts the other fish in her environment, just like the squid she is based on. We all know that mermaids don't really exist, but it is fun to think about. And every time scientists venture into the dark of the deep sea, they do find new creatures. Creatures that cannot be brought up for further study because they cannot survive the difference in temperatures and other conditions. They would die before they ever reach the surface. The point is we know so little about our own planet. There are still ancient sharks, giant squids, puffy octopi with flaps like ears, and many other animals that we can only imagine. Because the deep sea has more life than anywhere else on earth, we do owe it to ourselves to learn more.
I just wanted to take a second and thank everybody for watching my Deep Sea Mermaid video. I want to apologize that it took me so long to get it out. And I would like to remind you to like and subscribe. One thing that I thought would be a really cool idea is to get some ideas and input about what kinds of mermaids you guys would like to see. I've always liked to draw mermaids and I like to challenge myself and do something a little different. Like with this one where I did like a deep sea type mermaid. If you've got any ideas as to what kinds of mermaids you'd like to see, please comment below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can uh, be notified when I do upload another video. And I hope to see you again next time.